So while people may accept the British reign as an inevitability, others say more action from government might have helped prevent some of the devastation. Furious critics point to a 41% cut in the budget for preparing the UK for the impacts of global warming. Today's row, though, focuses very sharply on spending on flood defences. It's a complex area, even for the government. Secretary of State Owen Paterson has long claimed that this government spends more on flood defences than the previous Labour administration did. But a fortnight ago, a junior minister admitted to Parliament, I would also like to take this opportunity to correct the record. Further analysis has identified some minor inconsistencies in the figures previously provided. So, government spend on flooding is predicted to be down slightly compared with spending between 2007 and 11. But the government say that when you include the £148 million in private investment they've attracted, spending is higher overall. For many, though, no matter how you look at it, government is still not spending enough. Last week, the Independent Committee on Climate Change warned that government should be spending £500 more than it plans to over the next 25 years to improve our flood defences. Matt. Jackie. Well, we did ask the Department of the Environment and the Environment Agency for interviews no one was available. But from Somerset, we are joined by Brioni Sadler from the Flooding on the Somerset Levels Action Group, or FLAG, and in Westminster is the Conservative MP and Chair of the Environment Committee, committee Anne McIntosh. Welcome to you both. There you are. Um, let's start with you, Brioni Sadler. So we had, there we are, sorry. Brioni Sadler, um, so you had the Secretary of State visiting you today, I think for 30 minutes. Were you, sir, were you reassured by his visit, by what he said? Uh, as a resident, we didn't get to talk to him at all. He didn't come and look at properties. He came to the pumping station and had to look at what the Environment Agency have put in for us, but he didn't actually come and talk to us community on the ground, no. What would you like to have heard from him? We, we're appreciative that he's come down. It's taken three weeks of of plugging this cause, of trying to get our profile raised so that something happens. Unfortunately, we've had to use the media because they haven't wanted to listen. But we've got here today and it was a great success for us. But on the back of that, we're still feet and feet underwater. Our lives are still upside down. And I don't think he really got a true picture of, of what it's like to be in this situation. Let's turn to Anne McIntosh at uh, Westminster. Uh, is this about Mother Nature basically uh, dealing us a terrible blow and even if they had dredged the rivers, uh, they would not have been able to cope with this amount of water or could more have been done? Well, I, I think the water is of biblical proportions and we all feel for those who have been flooded, both their properties and their farmland. Can I just say two things? The drainage boards have responsibility for uh, dredging uh, at low water courses, but where it's a main river, like I understand the River Parrot is, then it is for the Environment Agency to do that. But we're proposing that the pilot schemes that the government have allowed should go forward then across the country, enabling farmers to dredge and drainage boards to dredge these main rivers to allow keep them clear of all vegetation, to allow the water to, to flow uh, in times of flood and in times of, of, of general weather conditions. The other thing, I do hope that Somerset can benefit from a project like we have in my own area of the Pickering Slow the Flow project, where we're storing the water upstream by felling trees right. and creating mini dams and planting trees, and it's slowing the flow into Pickering. But just to be clear, Anne McIntosh, has money actually been cut from the dredging of rivers? We are trying to establish the overall budget following the report we had in July, the evidence session last week, we hope to have the figures this week to place in the public domain from the department. But we do know that cuts have been made to the department, cuts of something like 40%, which is a huge amount of money. I mean, uh, do you think they made the wrong cuts? Could they have foreseen where these cuts shouldn't have been made? Well, what I can say is that you have to do more with less. So if there's only 20 million pounds being spent, on clearing the water courses, then my argument would be that you use the drainage boards, you allow the drainage boards to use their own resources and agree a program of dredging and maintenance with the environment agency. So the people living in Somerset, the people living in North Yorkshire and across the country know that dredging is being done and that they're using existing resources to do so. Bryony Sadler, if I could uh, return to you. I mean, 
I don't know whether this has occurred uh, frequently in your neck of the woods. If it carries on like this, will you consider moving somewhere else? How can we? Our properties are worthless. We're all over the, the media, we're all over the television. Somebody came the other day to look at a house around here and the film crews told them to ask for a half in reduction of the price. You know, even our insurance is all going to go up this year. It all needs to be addressing. We are, this isn't a one-off hundred year thing now. This is going to be, until they do something, which I hope they do now, this is going to yeah. be an ongoing situation. And just a quick uh, last question to you, Anne McIntosh. Are you going to call the Secretary of State um, and basically say you've got your cuts wrong, you've got to economise elsewhere? We will take a, an informed view on the basis of the actual figures once they come into our possession. We have been asking for these figures for some time and we would like to analyse them more closely. We will take an informed okay. view. Got to leave it there. Anne McIntosh, Brioni Sadler, good luck to you. Thanks very much.